This is a Carrie Me production. Hi, this is Carrie Me Carrie, Carrie Me Lifestyles. Hope everybody's doing okay um, on this Saturday. Uh, we're going to talk to you today about jawstring ponytails, and we're just going to show you what to do in case your jawstring ponytail ever gets old and you feel like you can no longer utilize it. I tend to use jawstring ponytails on my older daughter, um, who's 13 years old. This one was the deep wave, um, and it was the ombre, so you can see the three colors. It's kind of like dark brown, light brown, and if you look, it's honey blonde on the bottom. Um, usually when these get matted or ratty, people tend to throw them in the trash because they're synthetic hair. And synthetic hair knots up and gets matted, especially if you sleep in them or if you uh, don't take them off every night, which my daughter tends to do because she just gets like that sometimes um, and doesn't want to be bothered. Anyhow, you don't have to throw them away. You kind of just need to prune them like you would prune a plant. Um, and what, what it means to prune is to just take any bad hair, if my daughter Mason could get a little closer, any bad hair that you see and you want to go through the ponytail and try to cut it out. You want to cut very carefully because you don't want to go in there chopping and then the whole ponytail is just ruined and you won't be able to use it. But if you see a knot, I tend to just go in, I follow the strand up unless it's really bad. If it's bad like this, I take the whole piece off as you're cutting. As you're cutting, you want to turn your ponytail back around and make sure that once you got finished cutting, that the ponytail still looks nice and full and that you haven't overcut. As you can see, the top of this got really bad. So this is where I'll do most of my work, which I'll probably have to go in and do later. Um, right now, I just wanted to show you a little bit. Another thing we do to revitalize these is that you, we use... Um, certain products. This is a bottle of Detangler from the dollar store. It's about a buck. Um, it's made to take out tang tangles and we just kind of just spray them and then we pull through. And as you can see, it already starts to change the texture of the hair when you start to spray it. Another thing we've used before is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco, the strength and conditioning spray. Usually it is a, a spray that has a product right here and a liquid on top and you shake it and activate it and then when it gets empty we use our spray bottles you don't have to go out and buy a spray bottle you can take your old spray bottles and put whatever moisturizer you think is best inside uh, we usually tend to mix sulfur 8 one of the best greases you can use for dandruff or flakiness or um, for hair growth as a matter of fact we also use coconut oil which my daughter swears by which has done very well in all, all of our hair and here's another example this is the softy hair and scalp, scalp conditioner coconut oil and my daughter did mix a bit of that coconut oil the soft degrees the sulfur eight and the argan oil all together in the bottle and gave it to my husband my husband wears waves in his hair and my husband would get itchy all the time and now my husband doesn't complain about his hair itching at all so when you find the right combination of things to put in your hair, then you stick with it. Um, as I said, we spray. We spray them. That's how we revitalize them. We cut them. This is how much I've cut off so far, but this will get you another week or so. Once I get finished putting the top of this, this will get you another week or so of being able to use this ponytail so that you're... 20 to 25 dollars doesn't go to waste and you kind of just want to spray it and then go to all the way to the bottom and just keep moving out tangles and if you see more that you need to cut then you do so and like i said be, feel free to use whatever you think is going to make it with us it is coconut oil and it's the argan oil and look at look at the difference ladies and gentlemen um so I hope this helps somebody out. This is not the finished product. I'll take a picture of the finished product later. I will also take a picture of it in my daughter's hair once um, I do her hair over. And I hope this helps somebody out. I hope this helps somebody to save a little bit of money and to be able to get 
as much usage out of their Josh Green ponytails as they can before they have to go back um, to the beauty supply store because say it may not be your payday or you may be running a little low on cash. And that's what we do carry me lifestyles for. Golly living on a budget. Hope that helped you. Have a good day. This is, this is a Carry Me production. This is a Carry Me production.